Hi everyone, this is Connie, and I hope you guys have had a great week. I have had a good week. I did have an injury on my finger um, because Sarah's not in here. I can tell you what it was. She heard me tell somebody and she got a sick stomach. So she doesn't do well with uh, blood and stuff. So I was out in my um, garage. I was cutting some, I was making, uh, making some shelves for um, my upstairs bathroom. And um, I was cutting some stuff on my miter saw and I was holding it. I had my safety glasses on. Everything was perfect. But when I brought the saw down, it hit a really super hard knot on the inside of the wood. I didn't, I couldn't see from the top and it kicked back. It flew and hit my finger. It broke my fake nail, ripped it off and cut a little side piece of my skin on the side. So, but Hey, it will, it'll be just fine. I can deal with it. I'm keeping it clean and bandaged and dry and it's it works okay so um i don't know if sarah is going to come on my live she does have my link if she decides to um but uh yeah i'm going to be uh painting with gouache and if any of you don't know what that is it's my the brand i have is a hemi gouache and this is the um uh, the lid to it you can see that it's just heavy and I got this from um, Amazon and it is uh, thank you Liz um, it is a gel paint it's you can see I don't know if you can see um, here let me open this up so you can see both sides Okay, so these, it's a jelly paint that's in these little pods. Hi, Jill. And um, this is water activated. It acts like a watercolor if you put a lot of water into it. And it acts like uh, an acrylic if you don't. So sometimes I do both on the same painting. Um, I'm blurry. Am I still blurry? Is that better? I hope it's my laptop. I'm sorry, but, um, hope that's better Kathleen. Okay. So I'm going to paint, um, a little cool, pretty picture, I hope. And I'm going to ask questions again. It's, um, G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Gouache. Okay. So, let me get started. This is going to be an outside scene. And then in a minute, I will uh, start um, asking the questions. Now, these this comes with... Uh, my set came with three paintbrushes. Um, some come with... Uh, different paint brushes but um i added two other brushes but once i used it for this paint i've never used those two brushes the white ones um before and now they're gouache paint brushes i don't swap them back and forth okay so we are going to get started now i you have a spray bottle it's a spritzer and i'm going to spritz my my palette here so that when I get the paint on it, it will activate it. Now, the one nice thing about this is I can do this painting. I can put it away for 10 years. I can pull it back out, put a little bit of water on it, and it reactivates it, and you can move the paint around. So let's go ahead, and we're going to get started. And I'm going to put, um, oh, I need some more water in that one. So you, I keep water sprayed on the paint as well as in the um the palette so this i'm just putting um some white down 
because we're going to make a sky and I need a white down because then I'm going to add some clouds and the clouds I'm going to use a light a gray and a little bit of a purple so but I'm actually just going to go with well let's go with a little bit of purple We're just going to go down quite far because whatever uh, the land that can go over it is fine. Yeah, it is a mix of a acrylic and a watercolor. It's not, but... It, it's like that, that it's mixed. That's awesome, Candace. He's, he will love that. I loved the planetarium when I was young. Okay, so now I'll put more of the blue and a touch of a darker blue. I'm going to mix this. As you can see, this is going to be a, like a part of, it's going to be water on this side over here. Okay. Well, that will be awesome, my three sons. That's cool. Kathleen. Okay, let me ask some questions. Um, K is worth four points in Scrabble. True or false? Number am I okay? All right. Oh, I said, um, K in Scrabble is worth four points. Okay, we have. A true, a false. You get me some more, then I'll tell you what's what it is. Okay, so we're gonna go with a little bit of this does not have gray, so I need to really get the uh, black light. And then pick up some white. Turn it into gray. Okay. Any more guesses? Yes, Jill, you're right. It is false. K is worth five points. Okay, so now I'm 
and you can tell I'm putting some uh, foliage back here in the background. What does who mean? Me? Okay, so next question. Alaska is the biggest American state in square miles. True or false? Okay, we have false, true, true. Hello, Ron. It, I'm sure that Ron is right. Um, what was the question? 34. True. It spans a total area of 665,384 square miles. Texas comes in next with a total area of 268,596 square miles. So it was true. Okay, next one. Ariana Grande is 25 or under. True or false? I've never been to Alaska. So, seems like it's really cold. I'm, it's pretty, but I'm sure it's very cold. Nope, California is smaller than Texas. I used to live in California. False. We have one that says false, one that says 24, one that says 29. So Ariana Grande is 25 or under. It says um, everyone is saying 29, false. Hi, Robin. Um, which one is it? 2035. It's false. She turned 26 on the 25th of June 2019. So she's older than that now. So, yeah. Okay, I need some more water. Okay, next question. Um, Australia is wider than the moon. True or false? What do you guys think? Is it true or false? Robbins is true. You have no idea. <laughs> right, okay. Any guesses, guys?
Billy, hi Billy. He says it's true. Let's see, what is 36? It's true. The moon sits at 3,400 3, kilometers in diameter, while Australia's diameter east to west is almost 4,000 kilometers. So it definitely is. Okay, next one. Queen Elizabeth. Now, we she died this week, but this doesn't have anything to do with this. Um, Queen Elizabeth II is currently, she was currently, the second longest reigning British monarch. True or false? Okay. Okay. Hi, Rhonda. All right. Robin's, okay, we have false. Robin says she was the longest. False. It's because I blocked the. Okay. Um, <laughs> and now we have a queen consort. Yes, we don't have a, there's no queen anymore. It's a queen consort. There won't be another queen until. Uh, a female becomes queen that's in the uh, succession line and the closest one is Charlotte and she's the second uh, William's second child so it will be a while if it is at all hi Jax okay so Queen Elizabeth okay it's false you're right uh, it's false Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning British monarch on September 9th, 20, wait, yeah, 2015, when she surpassed the reign of her great great grandmother, Victoria. But she is not the longest reigning monarch, or she was not the longest reigning monarch in the world because King Louis XVI, I think it was. He reigned for 72 years, but I think he was in Scotland. Okay. Now, the next one. Madonna's real name is Madonna. Is it, guys? What do you think? Okay, we got false, 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 false. Um, okay. I am painting a uh, scenery uh, outdoors, like looking from a lake, a uh, river up into where the, the water goes around. Yeah. Okay. It's true, guys. Madonna's real name is Madonna Louise. I'm not going to butcher her last name. It's C-I-C-C-O-N-E in full. That's her full name. So her real name is Madonna. She shares the same middle name as I do. Okay. 
something I didn't know. All right. Okay, so the next question. Um, Serena Williams has one more. Oh, wait. This, this one won't. This one is not. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. True or false? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys are saying true, true, false, true. No bread did. <laughs> Good one, Rhonda is right. Um, where is it? Um, okay, where the heck? What number was that? I think I missed one. Okay, 40. It's true. Hi, Robin. I mean, hi, Sarah. Sarah, you're getting ready. Okay, you can come on here if you want. I sent you the link if you want. Okay, so let's let me clean off my brush so I can start on another part of this. Before I've done the background, now I'm going to do more of the front or the, you know the front of it. So we're going to go some water. We're going to go with some black. Okay. So I'm putting some trees um, right here. Okay, and then I'm going to put some trees over here. Thank you, Rhonda. Okay. All right, next. I've got more. I got more, Robin. I just get busy painting and have to remember what I'm doing. Okay, so next one. Harry Styles' middle name is Edward. Hi, Leilani. Okay, so we're going to go a true and a true. Who else thinks that that's true?
I'm putting some uh, orange leaves on this tree right here. And on this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is true. His his name is Ed is Harry Edward Styles. He was born on February 1st of 1994. I didn't think he was that old, but I guess he is. Okay. Um our your radius bone is in your leg. What do you think? Yeah, he's in one direction. But for some reason, I just didn't think they were that old. But that's okay. All right. So. Okay, so your radius bone is in your leg. True or false? What do you guys think? Happy birthday to Leilani's daughter. Okay, we've got a false, we got a true. Thank you, Robin. Okay, so what number was that? 42. It is false. Um, Okay, where was I? Four, oh, 42. Okay. It's one of the biggest bones in your forearm. So in your forearm, you feel there's two bones. It's the biggest one is your radius. So. All right. Now I'm going to paint. Okay. Yes, the radius and the. Ooh, I can't say that word, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. We got to switch, flip over my page. Okay. <laughs> you guys are all going to get this right. This is a really stupid question. If you guys get it wrong, I don't. I'm, I don't know what I will do. Coffee is made from berries. True or false?
yes, it is true. A lot of people think it is a bean. <coughs> it is a berry. And um, <coughs> it says, when coffee berries turn from green to bright red in color, this indicates ripeness. And they are picked, processed, and dried before being roasted and turned into coffee. So they call it a coffee bean, and it's actually a dried coffee berry. Okay. Next question. Um, drag race Michelle this visage is older than RuPaul. Good luck on that one. Because I don't know. Yep, coffee is made from a berry. So I'm putting a little uh, cabin right here. Okay, did anyone answer that true? Robin said true, Liz said true. Okay, um, that was false. As of January 2021, RuPaul is 60 years old and Michelle is 52. Okay, next question. The only letter not in the periodic table is the letter J. True or false? What do you guys think? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's my hair. <laughs> it is my hair. I'm sorry. My hair is really, really long, and I have a fan blowing across my back. Sorry. It's not. When I saw them, I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's my hair. Okay. All right. Let's see. And I have a light on behind me, too. So it shines up through it. Okay, so the question was, the only letter not in the periodic table is the letter J, true or false. It is true. And it doesn't tell me why. It just says it's true. So, okay. All right, next question. Um, Jordan North won I'm a Celebrity 
get me out of here in 2020 true or false What do you guys think? Welcome, Kim. You say false, I guess, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, let me look at the answer. I have to flip my page over. Oh, wait, maybe I don't have to. No, this is the last one. False. He can't. He he came runner up to Giovanni Fletch. Okay, next question. The small intestine is about three and a half times the length of your body. True or false? Okay, Kim says true, Rhonda says true, Liz says false, Kathleen says false, let's see, true, it's the longest section of your digestive tube measuring about 22 feet or 7 meters on average or three and a half times the length of your body, so it's true. That just boggles my mind when I hear about that. Okay, next question. Um, an octopus has three hearts. True or false? You want that spoken again? Okay. <laughs> An octopus has three hearts. True or false? Yeah, take a guess. The average is 30 feet in college. Hmm. Well, you know, it cannot. 20 feet, 30 feet. That's a lot. Let's just call it a lot because I have no clue. That is just oh, too much for me. Okay. Kathleen. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe that is not college trivia, lol. <laughs> Kathleen says eight. Just painted one on my nails. Awesome. Jill. Kim says false. Liz says true. Rhonda says 30 feet. Holy crap. Oops, wrong in intestine. <laughs> okay. Answer to the octopus is true. An octopus has one main systematic heart to pump blood around its body. The two additional hearts are responsible for pumping blood over each of its gills. Lovely. That's too many hearts for me. Okay. Let's see. Um, all right. Next, pet, next question. Thomas Edison discovered gravity true or false
Go on, guys. You should know what Thomas Edison discovered. What did he discover? Or was it true or was it false? I think you guys are all getting it right. Because, well, because I think it was false. <laughs> Thomas Edison did not uh, discover gravity. Uh, Thomas, El it was false. Isaac Newton discovered gravity when he saw a falling apple while thinking about the forces of nature. Yes, he did, Kathleen. All right, next question. Walt Disney holds the record for the most Oscars. True or false? Robin. <laughs> okay. Um true. It is true. He won 26 Academy Awards, four of which were honorary, and was nominated a grand total of 59 times throughout his career. I'm sorry, Kathleen. It was saying that um Walt Disney had the most Oscars. It, it was true. He did have the most Oscars, or has had the most Oscars, at least at the time these were made. Okay, next question. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know this one. Spaghetto is the singular word for a piece of spaghetti. Hi, Carmen. So everyone who knows everything about the singular. Okay. Robin says false. <laughs> okay, I'll say that again. Um, just for Kim, because she's asking, what? Spaghetto is the singular word for a piece of spaghetti. <laughs> okay. Rhonda says false. At least one piece. That's true, Rhonda. <laughs> Carmen says true. Billy says false. Jill says false. Noodle is singular, okay. Yes, one noodle. Okay, so the answer is true. Generally, Italian words ending in O are singular and words ending in I are plural. Lots of sp spaghetto makes spaghetti. For, yeah, spaghetto. Something new, it's the Italian uh, language, I guess. My husband would know that if he was on here, probably because he speaks Italian. Okay. 
yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be served. I'd be mad if I got served one spaghetti noodle. Okay. Um, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. If Hudson, my grandson, who's four, was here, he could tell you which one it was. But he's not here. So, you guys get to answer. Do you think it's the hottest? <laughs> Jill. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got some truths and we have some falses. So, um, it's true. Venus is not the closest planet to the sun, but it is the hottest planet to the sun. Um, my grandson could explain that to you, but I can't, but he knows it. But this says Venus has an average surface temperature of around 450 degrees um, Celsius. Mercury is closer to the sun, but has no atmosphere to regulate temperature. It has a, lar a very large temperature fluctuation. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the reason. All right. So next question. Hillary Clinton and Celine Dion are related, true or false? What do you guys think? Okay. <laughs> Hillary Clinton and Celine Dion are related. True or false? Liz says true. Yes, Robin. Okay, Carmen says true. Kim says false. Kathleen says true. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how you know from Blue's Clues, yeah. Actually, no, he doesn't know that from Blue's Clues. My grandson does not know that from Blue's Clues. My grandson watches uh, videos and reads books or has his mom read them, if he can't read some of them, about the solar system. And that's just one of the things he knows. So do you think that uh, who all thinks that uh, Celine Dion and Hillary Clinton are related Okay, let's look and see. It's false. They're not related. <laughs> no explanation. They're just not related. Nope. That's, nope, nope, nope. They are not related. Thank you, Liz. So it's, it's getting there. It's almost done. I have to get off of here in a couple minutes, and then I have to gather up everything and run into the other room 
and be on, on uh, Sarah's live. So, I will finish this last little bit. I got to put in more of this white in the water because it's a moving river and it's really supposed to be kind of a really light blue. So we're going to do that. There. All right. This is done. Hope you guys like it. Okay. One last question and then we will end because I've got to get into the other room. Um, but this painting is done. I won't sign it till it's completely dry because it's, it's like watercolors. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So the last question. Cardi B's real name is Cardigan Backyardigan. <laughs> yeah. Is that true or false? What do you think, guys? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's see. That is. If that was true, she's part of the um, Backyardigans on that's on TV. It's a kids show. It is false. Um, that was a meme. Her real name is. I cannot even pronounce this. It's B E. B E L C A L I S uh, Marlinus A L M A N Z A R uh, Cardi B. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for coming and listening to my little uh, <laughs> true and false questions. Um, yes. And I hope you guys like this. I will take a picture of it and I will put it on um, Instagram if I can get it off of this paper. There we go. All right. See if I can show it to you. There you go. I hope you guys like this. And you guys all have a great night. And if you're going over to Sarah's, I'll see you over there. Um, you guys have the most blessed week. Call somebody and tell them you love them because it might be exactly what they need to hear today. As well as you guys, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye. Thank you, Robin.